Welcome to Eye Contact. I'm Oliver Findel. Today we're talking to Dr. Nick Roos from the Netherlands about multifocal IOLs versus EDOF IOLs. Welcome, Nick. Thank you, Oliver. So tell us about EDOF lenses. What, what are they about? What's, what's the principle? Well, EDOF lenses, they provide a, a good uh, far visual acuity and also intermediate visual acuity. Mm -hmm. Um, the thing is, is in the past we only had the multi bifocal, multifocal lenses, and they've gave good uh, far visual acuity and good near visual acuity. Mm -hmm. But intermediate vision was not good. And so, for example, if uh, people with a bifocal, multifocal uh, wanted to, to read the computer, they had to really sit up close to the computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was not, not, not the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that was the reason to develop the extended mm -hmm. depth of focus lenses to provide good far visual acuity, but also good intermediate visual acuity uh, for these, these tasks like uh, looking at a computer. So, 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 so some people argue that essentially a, 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 an EDOF lens is like a low bifocal, low near ad bifocal lens. Would you also say that, or is the technology, I mean, it's, it's a little complicated. That the, obviously, different companies also have different ways of trying to make an EDOF lens. Yes. Well, I have to say, looking at the, at the shape of these lenses and the mechanism that if you look at the lenses, um, uh, like the diffractive EDOF lenses, um, my idea is indeed that you would look at a, a bifocal mm -hmm. lens but the peaks are very close to each other. Mm -hmm. So in, in effect, you have an elongated focus uh, based on that principle. So you don't have the classical bimodal defocus curve like a, for, a, for a bifocal, but you actually have like a big plateau which then f yes, comes, falls off. Exactly, because those peaks are very close to each other. Yes. But that means it's also important to hit uh, emetropia, to hit zero, because if you're a little off, it, it would give you more leeway for, for example, biometry and power calculation errors. But, yes. if, but if you're not exactly on zero, then you lose that intermediate vision possibly. Is that, could, could we say that? Uh, yes, I, I would say that it's more forgiving for, for uh, uh, reaching your target emetropia. Right. Um, but in, in essence, if you, if you end up with plus and a half, then your in intermediate vision, of course, would be less than if we would hit emetropia or a bit uh, on the myopic side, of course. So, so, so what, what do you think about then also adding some, because obviously some patients would like to have a little near vision at least. Yes. Uh, about doing this micro mono vision approach. I mean, w is that something uh, which is done readily and with these EDOF lenses? Um, I, would think, I would say that, that, that people use that. Uh, some people don't and other people like to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I'm not a real fan of, of, of monovision with these EDOF lenses. Okay. Um, in my experience, the patients I operate on in with these lenses, they often, they often compare these eyes. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, this eye is good at far and this eye, I don't see well at far. And I was like, but, well, but your, your, your near vision is, is, is okay. Yeah, that's true. But still, when I compare them, mm -hmm. and, and, okay. and, and I don't like that in these patients. Uh, um, I try to, to get them emetropic in both eyes. And also, I would say beforehand that this lens is for good far visual acuity mm -hmm. and good intermediate visual acuity. And if they would like to read uh, a book or a newspaper, a magazine, uh, they need uh, reading glasses for that. Yeah, so you make that very clear beforehand, you will need reading glasses, but yes. just less commonly than with somebody with a standard monofocal lens. Exactly. If they, they want to be less reliant in everyday tasks mm -hmm. uh, on glasses, then I think an EDOF lens is, is a perfect way to go. Um, um, and many people uh, don't read uh, books anymore. Uh, most people uh, look at the computer or look at tablets, especially younger people. Yeah. Uh, in Holland, we have also tall people, mm -hmm. so their reading distance You're is tall. also a, a bit tall. <laughs> <laughs> so you have long arms? I've got long arms, so, so my reading distance would be, would be uh, uh, more in yeah. the range of, of an EDOF lens. So that means if you had an EDOF lens now, you probably wouldn't need reading glasses anymore? I could assume that that would be the case. Okay, yeah. but then why don't you get EDOF lenses? Oh, they must have a drawback. There must be some, some side effect, because otherwise everybody would be using only EDOF lenses yes. today. Well, I'm not perspiopic yet, and okay. I don't have a cataract, so that's, uh, <laughs> that's one reason not to have EDOF lenses yet. Um, but these lenses do have, have side effects. Uh, mm -hmm. One is, is the cost. Okay. Uh, in, in Holland, uh, people get reimbursed for the cataract surgery, right. but they do have to pay out of their own pocket okay. the, the additional cost for this lens. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that, that, that is, that is uh, 
uh, you have to take care of, and, and people have to know that. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing, there are some uh, visual side effects in these lenses. Okay. Uh, not as much as, I think, with the uh, multifocal, trifocal lenses. Mm -hmm. uh, but people do report to see some rings around the headlights and uh, at night. Um, most people get most people get used to it uh, mm -hmm. rather rapidly with mm -hmm. these uh, mm -hmm. side effects. But if you ask them, everybody sees them. Yeah. And um, so they have halos just like like a, a, a bi bifocal as well, essentially. Yes. Yes. But but because we always hear that you know the multifocal technology is also getting better. So the trifocals, as you said, you know they're getting better and better and optimizing their designs. You know the slight differences between them. So they would argue that they have very little side effects as well. Or do you, do you see a difference between EDOF and a classical trifocal, for example, concerning halos and glare? Well, the, the halos are, are a bit different. Yeah. Uh, um, I think the halos with the EDOF lens are, are more compact to each other. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a more bright, bright uh, white ring. Mm -hmm. Instead of the trifocal lenses, it's a bit more spread out. Mm -hmm. um, but they do see them more, in my experience. What people report back to me with mm -hmm. a trifocal lens, they experience them more. Mm -hmm. And also the contrast is, is lower in the trifocal lens mm -hmm. because your light is being uh, focused on, on three different uh, areas. Um, so you need more light to have the same visual uh, acuity. But you can see that at, at night, when driving uh, at night with a trifocal lens, it may be a bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. And especially when, when it's raining, the contrast is so low that, uh, in my experience, most people don't drive a car when it's uh, dark and it's raining uh, okay. outside. So there are different visual side effects with these lenses. So, so could we summarize that you, know, you have a monofocal lens with certain also side effects, but they, are, you know, they have to be tolerated? Yes. And you have trifocal with more of these and the EDA for somewhere in between. So it's like for low risk takers who want to have some extra vision? Yes, yes. Is that a way of seeing it? Yes, that's, that's what I, I, I say to my patients. So if you uh, want to be m less dependent on spectacles in your daily life activities, then I think an EDA lens is, is the way to go. Um, if you really want to be able to read without glasses and you don't mind uh, side effects, uh, like uh, worse contrast sensitivity at night, uh, then I think a trifocal is, is, is the lens uh, to have. Um, if you don't want to uh, pay extra for uh, a certain type of lens, or you also have some patients that say, well, no, I'm, I'm going to wear glasses after my surgery because uh, uh, my eyes look better with glasses uh, in front of it. Right. Uh, yeah, those people choose a monofocal lens. Yeah. So, um Anything else you would still would, would like to talk about uh, concerning EDOF and multifocal at this point? I mean, are, are there actually any trials comparing the two? I mean, a randomized trial, com uh, you know, a comparison trial between uh, EDOF and, and, tri and trifocals, for example, at the moment, which would be worthwhile mentioning? Well, actually, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so then it's, well, it's, it's time to make one. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I guess the problem is that these are patients with different expectations. Yes. And, and they also want something different. So it's going to be actually ethically not quite easy to, to make a, a, a trial like that. Because well, the patient right, yeah. will have to, they choose one or the other, but now they'd be randomized to one or the other without having any, any choice. Yeah, and it's guess. difficult to compare these groups because one will be able to read without glasses and the other won't. Yeah. Um, and you can look at side effects. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, from individual uh, trials, we already know that that multifocal lenses, the trifocals, have more visual side effects than the uh, than the EDOF lenses. Um, well, one thing I think it's 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 good to mention is that um, I use a toric EDOF lens or a toric trifocal mm -hmm. lens. Uh, in 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 every case, it has a bit of a cylinder. What is a bit? Well, that, that that's that, always a question. That, that, that's point the question. five one diopter. How much? Yeah, I, I, my, my target is, is less than 0.5 diopters of remaining astigmatism at the end of, su at the end of surgery. Okay. So that's what I'm aiming for. Okay. And uh, of course, it depends on, on, on before and you have to really look if it's uh, with the rule astigmatism or against the mm -hmm. rule astigmatism. Mm -hmm. um, and because uh, of the posterior cornea. Because surface. of the posterior cornea and take that into account. Mm -hmm. So if you use the Barrett formula, uh, it's automatically uh, being taken into account for you. Uh, but I do aim for, for a, a maximum of 0.5 diopters of okay. remaining astigmatism because I think that will give the best uh, visual acuity and also the best uh, performance of these lenses. Yeah, so that's critical is, is, is a, a that's critical. addressing astigmatism. And I guess the other one is, is, is dry eye. 
is always an issue with these patients? Yes. So if you have, uh, well, many patients nowadays have symptoms of dry eye, but uh, with the real, the, the, the more severe dry eye case with uh, uh, punctate uh, keratopathy, um, I think EDOF lenses do, do, do well because of your contrast is, mm -hmm. is, 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 is good beforehand. Uh, trifocal lenses, uh, they are all worrisome in risky. these patients. They're risky because people do experience a loss of their visual acuity. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much, Nick. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. For more information on this and related topics, please visit us at eurotimes.org.